Hey, Amy, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to tell me who your favorite person to hang out with on Animal Crossing is while hitting something with a shovel. My favorite Animal Crossing villager is an Okapi named Poppy. He's a lazy villager. He, when I give him gifts, he usually has to remind himself not to eat them. And he also is always talking about the bugs that live in his walls and his floor that he is, apparently, friends with. He's perfect. I love him. Hey, John Pearson. Truth or dare? Uh, dare. I dare you to tell me about the one that got away while trying to write your name in script, only your mouth. Only my mouth? Only your mouth. <laughs> I mean, a pen in your mouth, but only your mouth. <laughs> oh, got it. Got it, a pen in my mouth. I am 50 and have never married, so there are plenty that got away. But the one that comes to mind was in college on the train home about 10 minutes before my stop. A girl looked over at me and I looked over at her and then we looked over at each other at the same time and we both laughed. She moved over next to me and we chatted like we have known each other forever. I went to get off the train and she got up too. We got off together but then began walking in the opposite directions. We both turned around and said, well, I guess this is goodbye. Hey, Willie, Willie, Willie. <laughs> yeah. Truth or dare? Uh, dare. Okay. I dare you to uh, tell us when your ego got you in trouble while you're pummeling yourself with a pillow. One time a friend of mine asked me to play guitar and bass in his cabaret show, and I thought, yeah, sure, I'm a great musician. This will be no problem. So I show up at the first rehearsal, and the musical director expects me to sight read uh, all of the songs, which is something that I have no idea how to do. So I stumble through a few songs, uh, and then I stop playing all together, and I stand up and I say, I don't think I can do this. And uh, I leave, and they replace me with somebody better. It was a very humbling experience. <laughs> That's been 30 seconds, 38, 39, 40. Shana, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to reveal the thing you're the most proud of while doing something you're very embarrassed about. I'm probably most proud of the class culture I was able to foster, specifically in my fifth period class, specifically this year. Imagine 33, 14-year-olds fully embracing our little theater community and its potent potential. It was truly unlike anything I've ever seen, and I really, really hope I see them again soon. Chris, truth or dare? Truth. Describe for us your experience giving birth uh, while eating a fruit or vegetable whole? Uh, it hurt a lot, but I didn't feel it for that long because my daughter's heart rate dropped. Um, they admitted me. I had an emergency C-section and I woke up and I asked them, is she okay? And they said, yeah. Tanya, truth or dare? Truth. Tell us who your high school crush was while drawing a picture of them with your foot. <laughs> okay, so he was a skater and also did a lot of strange extreme sports I'd never heard of and usually had some kind of a broken bone. He also had frosted tips, um, was very easygoing. And he once told me that I had pretty feet and uh, that, that for some reason meant a lot to me. Great. Curtain. <laughs> 